But here where she's trying to do a, a, a New York accent, I, I thought she was terrible. Oh, yeah, it kind of oh. threw me off, too. But not as much as Pierce Brosnan. Pierce, you know, it's not that he was bad. Yeah. It just weirded me out. Well, I, I mean, nobody's accent was, you know, Carla, you pointed this out, how nobody had a real New York accent. Like, no. Chris Cooper is a, as a, as a 22-year New York cop. He ain't sound like he was from New York at all. No, no. No, in the... Uh, and, and Rob Patterson, I don't know if anybody called Isn't it this, Pattinson? Pattinson? Pattinson, whatever. You know what? He he sounded like he was channeling Christopher Walken. Yes, I kept thinking that too. Because there was one at one point where, uh, uh, what's her name? Amelia DeRaven told him. Like, Emily DeRaven. Emily DeRaven. She's like, uh, I don't kiss guys on the first day. He's like, you're going to. You hurt, you hurt me. You got so that, you know that, what this that's day exactly needs? What I yeah. It's more cowbell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but how awesome would Twilight be if that's how he did Twilight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but wow, this whole girl is going out with a vampire. You like, what's that's so me. weird? Crush me here on the street. Old man. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even going to try. I, 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 I can't do it, but I'm so all of a sudden uh, turned into that, that into that SNL skit. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, I, I the thing that uh, really bugged me about the movie because I was I was with it. I was like, you know what? This is it's okay. I know I know you were hating it, Liam. Here it I comes. Was just, I was just kind of like, you know, it's all right. But here comes what? Oh, oh, the, what, what we're to? all yeah, fucking well, waiting oh, for. The, 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 the reason the, 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 every the, the, single person in this oh, motherfucking yeah. room this, wants to take a wrench to the director of this fucking film. Yes, and I wouldn't even say the director. I would say it's the screenwriter. It was, what's the name? Of Lumay. What's her name? Uh, uh, Sydney Lumay's daughter. Sydney Lumay's daughter. Uh, Fail. Sydney Lumay's <laughs> daughter. Jenny <laughs> Lumay. No, this movie. It's okay. I mean, it's not terrible. Up until the end, where they really try to get a cheap emotional rise out of you. The cheapest hitting, ever. Yeah, yes. by, yeah by, Despicable. by re a historical event that happened not too long ago. Oh. And, and you know what? That scene in this movie is the scene that you would see in the deleted cuts on a, on a, on a Blu-ray, a DVD, where they said, yeah, we were going to go with this until we realized, well, that was way too heavy and pretentious. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Pre pretentious. No, no, no. That that would make insulting it sound like, like it was worth movie. something. Yes. In insulting. It's pandering on the absolute worst level. It's it's the kind of thing where like, wow, we finished this movie and it really kind of sucks, but what can we do to make make people ha you know, pull their heartstrings? Right. It's like you chose that? You can bring this event into a movie. I don't have a problem with that. My problem is the way they brought it into this movie because it was just fucking lazy. Was it all it was it came was out like, of, I, this I, came out of I I have to disagree. I don't think it was lazy at all. If, if if you watch, they're actually kind of setting it up the whole time throughout the film. There were small little things that I kept noticing that I'm like, well, that's a little weird and that's kind of off. And when it all came together, the problem is they set it up as a twist. Yeah. And it happens as in dun, dun, dun. And, and literally you could feel the oxygen sucked out of the room as we all realize at the same moment. Oh, fuck this movie. Yeah, they wrote a date on a chalkboard, and everybody's like, bitch, I know you. <laughs> right. Don't yeah. tell me, please. Don't, don't, don't you do this. Please tell me that, that the twist is what I think is going to happen. It's not going to happen. But, that, that would be a good twist. Yeah. No, no, you said, that the, you know how Daffy Duck is always saying, you're despicable? He would look at this movie and go, this is fucked up. Yeah, it would have been cool if it turned out they were all on the Titanic the whole time, to be fair. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking about that. It's, this, is, this is the equivalent of how doing, you know, if, if you're watching The Notebook and you get to the end of The Notebook and it turns out they've been on Hawaii the whole time and then planes come down and a bomb drops and kills one of the main characters. And you're like, what? It's Hawaii and Pearl Harbor? What right. the fuck? That doesn't make any fucking sense, but there it is. <laughs> no, it's... It, I don't know if I want to give this movie uh, bullshit or not because of what they did. I mean, because really... I was all right with it for the, for most of the film. It's not until the, like the last few minutes that they pull that shit. So I'm gonna give it a very low rating. You are being so generous, yeah, you uh, are. Because I to me this movie, you know what? I didn't absolutely hate it. I wasn't even thinking some old bullshit. I was just like, you know what? Uh, remember me? No, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I won't. It, it moves way too slow. The the too many histrionics and the the dramas just aren't that compelling. The characters are terrible. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I, I'm gonna leave and not even think about this movie. I'll give it just a low rental. But after that ending, I don't know whether to give it uh, uh, some old bullshit or a fuck you.
So okay. you got to choose one, though. I, I, I'll, I'll say some old bullshit. Uh, you know, I, I'm with you all the way up until that end because, uh, you know what, this is the fuck you. I hardly ever say it, but that just pissed me off. It, it does I, piss you I'm off. I'm like, I was really mad walking out of that theater going, how dare they do this? I mean, I, I just, I can see that maybe that even wasn't there in some early script version. Like, you know, I'm reading this and I'm not feeling that much emotion to the character because he's a douche. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to figure out something that everyone is affected by or everyone's going to walk out of this movie going well that was lame yeah fuck this movie fuck it right uh, in the ass all right. <laughs> which rob Pattinson will do immediately as soon as oh. <laughs> you know oh, fuck this movie so bad i hate this movie uh it really it was i was i'm in the same boat as you Corey. i mean for the bulk of it this movie's a rental it's not a terrible movie it's just a really kind of cliche one and the daddy issues get done to death but it has a few glowing moments and it feels like it's on its way to an interesting resolution and then they pull the rug out from under you and deliver a twist in a movie that did not need a twist yeah. and they they play the cheapest most unbelievably despicable uh, card they could have played and it just it so offended me and so angered me that, remember me yes i mean this this movie's going to go down in history as having one of the worst endings i've ever seen i'm like Shyamalan, you are forgiven you even you wouldn't you would look at this and go oh fuck That's no yeah he should, he should he should post on that director's blog not as easy as it looks is it <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, it's just, what they do is, is, it's not right. It's its offensive, and it's cheap, and it's, like, there was this woman who started tearing up next to me, and I just wanted to turn to her and be, oh, baby, don't cheapen this. No, <laughs> no, but I mean. Oh, no, I, 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 she, so she was crying. She was. So you were nicer than me, because I wanted to turn around to her and just say, well, you shut the fuck up, really? And, and, I mean, it, 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 yeah, it was, it was just one of those things where it's like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. And, yeah. and of all the, it's. Uh, there, there aren't quite words to describe how low of a blow this movie deals because it just it can't figure out how to resolve its shit and so the resolution is is to they they had blow up the planet they, of the apes no they they had a like clear cut ending that they could have left us with because we thought everything was fine. Yeah. yeah I, I was like, hey, it's about to go off. Cool. Yeah. yeah. They had their little moment of drama that we knew was going to happen eventually. It's like, all right, bring this ship around, and then we can park and all go home. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. They had to blow up the car. Fuck <laughs> this movie. Yeah, you know what, Carl? I, I think that the, that simple adjective you use, low, is what it was. It, yeah. just, it was just really low. Really? You didn't think cheap was it? <laughs> well, I, no. I mean, even more than cheap. Just That was just like... That that was really disgusting what you guys just did. Yeah. I might have given it even a, just to some old bullshit if if Rob, if their lead actor had talked in any voice but just a single monotone for the entire film. Hi, I'm Rob, and I'm really upset about my brother. And every once in a while I go, hey, you, what are you doing? I'm Rob. I'm still <laughs> going to talk like Man, this. The, Except the, the, the whole banter between the two of them, I was just like, this is painful. I'm this, falling This asleep. first date that's supposed to be of them being cute and being funny. I'm like, this is just awkward. It was, it except, was, yeah. except this is, he reminded me of every 22-year-old douchebag I've ever met. I mean, he really was that guy. He wanted to be deep, but he didn't have anything to say. He wanted to be hip, but he had no no style. But he was good looking and knew how to nail chicks, and so that's what he fucking did. But that's what, well, why we don't put those real life guys in movies. Instead, we put people with charisma in movies. Not in not in, not in indie films set in New York. Uh, that's where we put. Well, that's where we sequester all the douchebags. What I thought bags. was weird was like how horrible his pickup was of her. Like I was like. His, he's got no game. How would this work? None. And his buddy talked about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, he gets laid all the time. And I was like, really? How? Oh, yeah. No, and that was uh, yeah, that was the most awkward date to be in. I mean, it just they, them just sitting around and looking at each other like, you get the dessert first? Yeah, what about it? You know, it yes, like, it was like yeah. that. <laughs> like, Jesus, man, uh, is there any <clears throat> chemistry between you two at all? The running not? jokes weren't even mildly funny, and there wasn't a moment <laughs> that you thought there was anything between yeah, these two exactly. actors. No, no, no. That's the, the only time you really felt that there was something going on between anybody is when they were yelling at each yeah, other. Exactly. And again, that was a little bit too much. I mean, <laughs> and, it, and it gets to a point where even I got to admit, as much as I like Chris Cooper in the film, I mean, even he's like trying to kill somebody for nothing. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, wow, that's, that's just a little bit too angry, man. Yeah, that's what I you said. Know what you really, said he was three dimensional. I thought he was one dimensional. Yeah, yeah. And I love that I, guy. I was really kind of bothered by the fact that he took one look at uh, his partner catches one look at the guys that are sitting with the girl. 
with the daughter and remembers that, oh, yeah, these were two guys we busted like three months ago yeah. and saw for two minutes. Yeah, cl- clearly the, these are two cops who actually don't bust anybody else. And the yeah. only thing that I think woke me up in this movie at all was when the little girl in the family got her hair cut by some mean girls at a she party. She was actually she was probably the best actor in the whole she movie. She was. She was the most interesting character. And I was like, that was the only time I rooted for Rob Pattinson in this whole yeah. film. I was like, you kicked that little bitch's ass. Well, <laughs> well, that's that's the one thing that this film really did get right was they gave us an 11-year-old girl who actually sounded and looked like an 11-year-old girl yeah. who was precocious but not not too, too much. Yeah, she 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 didn't go to the point to where you actually were like, no, an eleven year old girl that doesn't sound like this. When she used big words, she said them in a manner that kind of belied that she almost knew what they meant, but mm-hmm. didn't really. And it it came across as authentic. That was the one thing they nailed. Everything else is really piss poor. You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna give this movie. May not a fuck you. I'm gonna give it some bullshit. Exactly. Well, the more you think no, about it. No, the real I'm sitting up here thinking about it. I'm not people. I know you're gonna say, well, he just went with the flow. Y'all know I never. No, I know. As many times people make fun of me, begin some of my matinee, and I keep doing <laughs> it. But yeah, the more I thought about it, because I was angry when they did that. Because I think I was the first one to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? And I was just like, why would they even do that? It makes no sense. It's insulting. It's it's, it's especially cheap. when it was already at and, its resolution. And that's what I'm saying. And it's, it was a scene that was just simply not needed. You had your moment. I mean, this movie could have been like safe pass base. And that's somebody who just stopped and just said, take me out right now. Oh, it was just so awkward. Afterwards, it's like kind of like, I know I was. I was watching other people too in the audience just kind of looking around no. at each other like, <laughs> what the fuck are we supposed you know to do what? now? We, no, we, <laughs> right. we were in a movie full of women. Who actually bought that shit? Some of them did. Because yeah. I, I remember, and you're not I, kidding I, about full of women. There, there weren't well, enough men. Like, there weren't enough men there to get a touch football game going. Well, that's how. Well, fucking... if you remember, like, when, like when that moment happens, when they see that twist coming, all you hear in the audience, is, I'm like, oh, you bitches. I mean, you really gonna fall for this, really? And so, yeah, that's 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 making me more angry right now. Yeah, the hell with this movie, man. I think that was actually co-host. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Teeny, teeny. Get him a tissue. 